Not even the Kagan hearings can come close, however, to the display put on by California Congressman Pete Stark. Here's Pete. There he is. Hey, you doing, Pete? He's speaking at what appears to be a town hall type gathering to his constituents. He's got to talk to his constituents. He's only been in office since 1973. When the topic of border security comes up, here's how he handles it. The Minutemen want to have something to say? <laughs> yep. What are you, what, who are you going to kill today? Who are we going to kill today? Yeah. Well, I just would like to know, well, like, actually, American citizens are being killed right now, but it's that's where that's going on. That's right. Yes, yes, Congressman, you smug, san sanctimonious sack of sarcasm. You're right. There are people being killed. American citizens are being killed in this drug war, and they're being kidnapped. According to ABC News, and I quote, Phoenix, Arizona has become the kidnapping capital of America with more incidents than any other city in the world outside of Mexico City. Mexico City must have just been bumped up because it used to be Bogota, Colombia. Phoenix, Arizona, Bogota, Colombia. You think we got a problem in our country? It is so dangerous that in Arizona they have closed off an area that stretches 80 miles along the border. Some might say that's called giving up sovereignty. Many police officers have lost their lives at the hands of those who are here illegally. He doesn't mention that. No problem. It's the Minutemen who are causing the problem. Illegals have been victimized by drug dealers and coyotes who smuggle them over the border. Let me tell you something. You hire an illegal, you are engaged in modern day slavery. This situation for everyone concerned is bad. Maybe the congressman could take it seriously. You know, no, no, he just has to ask the Minutemen who he's going to kill today. What kind of slanderous attack is that? Stark immediately starts out smearing this man and this organization without any provocation whatsoever. Where is Nancy Pelosi crying out, oh, the violent, hateful rhetoric, I've seen this kind of stuff before. Yes, yes, you have. But the congressman was just warming up. Okay, I want to know why the federal government is not doing uh, anything or a lot more to seal our borders in this country so that we're a solvent country again. Well, we can't, we can't get enough Minutemen armed. We'd like to get all the Minutemen armed so that they could stop shooting people here. It's not here. our job. We're just citizens. It's the United States we're, we're government constitutionally kind of, protect us. Uh, well, why so say, we're, trying to get, we're trying to get you some more arms and uh, get you down there to... We don't want to go down there. We want to have lives of normal lives. We pay taxes and we pay, uh -huh. we pay to have the government take care of our borders. Is that all? Is that all what? The government should do? Well, that's one of the things the government is supposed to do. That's what the federal government is there for. They I said see. they were going to do it and they're not doing it. Well, then it, so. we don't need the Minutemen. That's, that's correct. Good. But we don't want to well, be doing Well, then let's this. send the Minutemen home. That's a good idea. You know what? King George! These people are turning into King George. Let me just clear up a few of the Stark raving lies here. Even though Stark has some sort of Minutemen shoot everybody on sight smear campaign going on, the fact is there has never been a border shooting involving a Minuteman. Not one, zero, none. No violent episodes from the Minutemen. I mean, this guy doesn't let a single fact get in his way. Meanwhile, the Minuteman stays calm, which he's a better man than I am. I would have lost my mind with this guy. But that points out something else. Something else. This guy, this guy is sitting here. He's not doing anything. The federal government doing jack. Not doing their job. He stays calm. We don't want to go down there. Let me ask you this. Do you want to drive to the border on your dime? Do you want to sit in your spare time, sit in the hot sun, watching the border for suspicious activity, and then not being able to do anything about it, and then calling the border police? Maybe the border guards show up. They're stretched so thinly, they may not be able to, and then what happens to them? They just release, and they come back in again. You want to do that? Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Do you want to spend your time doing this every night? I don't. I said on the radio today, I am turning into the guy I never wanted to be. I don't want to do this. We're doing it because we have to.
and a congressman mocking the constituents. Well, then another constituent joins in, agreeing with the Minutemen. Owen Stark had more disdain for these voters. Why is the federal government leaving our borders porous for anybody uh, to come in anywhere they want? If you knew anything about our borders, you would know that that's not the case. Our borders are quite secure, thank you. How do you know that? Excuse me. What do you mean that people are flowing in here at at an alarming rate? Hundreds of thousands of people are flowing in every year. Yes. Okay, and so that, that is not secure. And how would you secure it? I mean, I'm asking no, no, what you guys no, 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 uh, tell me. I mean, I'm, I'm not the government. I, just... I, I would send about 25,000 troops down there for one thing, and I would, I would build a wall down there to make so vehicles cannot pass. How, how, high, how, high, how high and how long would that wall be? As, as high and as long as it takes. Yeah. Well, I, I tell you what, um, we'll go down there. You, you design the wall. And as soon, yeah, as soon as we know, um, if you don't want to shoot the people coming over, then I'll go down and we'll go and start a ladder company. But I got to know how high that wall is, and I'll sell a whole lot of ladders um, for people who want to come. Congressman, can I ask you a question? This you've is asked, a, this, you've no, asked this, one this is a yes. very serious yeah. matter, and you're yeah. sitting there making yeah. fun of it. Make fun of you, sir. You do a fine job no, no, he's uh, all by yourself. What's happened to us? We're Americans. We deserve better, but we haven't done our job. We got sidetracked in stuff and things and power and money and everything else. And so now we're getting the government we deserve. We have to change. It's our fault. But the good news is, we are changing. And Senator, let me put you on notice now. Don't you dare treat the American people like King George a second longer. Because we have changed. We're done. We're done. It is a story of...